Nation. Check, check, yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. It's not Locks, Knotted Nation. Freeform Friday today, and I wanted to give you guys just a little bit of a dread review happening from the Instagram page. And if you haven't already, hashtag Not Nation. Send me your pictures at Not Nation of your freeform dreads, your interlock dreads, your crochet hook dreads, your retwisted dreads, any type of dreadlocks you have. And you know I'll post them up. But getting right into the, today's review of freeform locks, we are on the Instagram page of none other than Not Nation. Some interesting freeforms that I've come across um, these days. Uh, this guy being one, GTE Low Key. He's kind of got a plica going on at the top of his head where it's just one big dread on the very top. Now, it's a pretty iconic look. It's a pretty confident look because not everybody could take the criticism that comes along with this hair. Now, I like the way these dreads look here. I do like the actual one big freeform dread on top. A few wicks on the side. He's probably got less than 10 dreads entirely on his, entirely on his whole head. Uh, so it's actually pretty remarkable here what he's been able to do. Um, another photo here showing his hair kind of falling forward a little bit more than that last photo um, his hair looks photoshopped in this picture but I know it's his real hair and pictures like this we can see his locks just on sitting on the top of his head like this it's actually quite crazy to see the mattedness going on with these locks they kind of look like they're tied up um, this could be from tying them up and then just leaving them up. Uh, dude has some big ass wicks and look at the size of the afro going on underneath these dreads. A lot of two headed Congos going on down here. A little bit of sun bleach happening. Sun kiss dye from the locks just hitting the sunshine all the time. What looks to be a throwback picture before his dreads really like congoed up the way they are now. You can see rubber bands in them to help them wick together. And here too we see his wicks a few years ago. So uh, GTE low key definitely got some legendary wicks in the game. Moving on to the next freeform dreads that have caught my eye over the past week. Um, this guy here, Ya China, he's got the freeform dreads, the wicks on the high top tip. Now, if you look at the dreads now, they are like finger locks on the tips. Um, you can see some areas here where they have locked up, kind of bunched together and clasped to create that freeform freeform look I want to say like you know how like interlocks have scars uh, retwist you can see the twist happening freeform dreads you can see this clamping it's cl claspage happening right here where the dread kind of like pinches together on its own it's not forced it's not manipulated A little dread ball over here some frizzy hairs on this lock all in all this guy's dreads looking dope one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, less than 10 dreads on the head. I feel like this is the number to have these days is like 10 or less. No. So looking at, yeah, China's dreads from Florida. Definitely a great area to be growing these. I know wicks are a lot more popular down south there. The tropical climate makes it a lot easier to maintain locks like this. And I like how smooth they look and I love how rectangular these dreads are as well. Now notice he does have the front taper going on along with that high top fade. I like the way they look when they were pulled up like that. Cause they look totally different pulled up in the pineapple top compared to when they're falling down. And I mean, once the length just comes into here as well into play, it's gonna be even crazier to see how long his dreads can get. So yeah, China definitely rocking some very Louis V 
preform dreads. You can kind of see the rubber bands in place here as well, holding them together. And uh, they look they look pretty dope. They looking pretty dope. So there's the second guy with the freeform locks on freeform Friday today. And lastly, well, I got two more for you. This dude here, Balmain Junkie, freeform locks looking thick, smooth, rectangular, rubber bands down here where he's congoing up some dreads, forming them together. If we look at his Instagram here real quick, uh, we can see the length that he's rocking with. Now these rubber bands are just to hold his hair back, it's not to congo them up into a plica, although this is one way to keep those in and get a dread like gunplay happening. <coughs> Excuse me. But you see this guy does like to tie his dreads back. These dreads kind of reminding me of Dad's Lord High, but much thinner. Uh, dude's hair is receding a little bit, but that's all good. It's all Gucci. No one really cares about that. I mean, dreads are dreads in my opinion. And um, here's an earlier picture of his locks. Uh, still rubber banded up. A little bit shorter. And eyes looking blitzed. Lineup looking mad fresh too. That lineup looking mad fresh. This photo not really showing any dreads, but if you have starter locks, baby locks, within a few couple months, wearing one of these stocking caps while you wash your hair the first couple times is kind of essential to not having your dreadlocks come undone the first couple washes. Now, when you wash your hair with a stocking cap on, you basically put all your dreads up in it. Use your shampoo like you normally would, but just scrub it through the mesh onto your scalp and only focus on your scalp. You don't want to rub around your locks because you're not focusing on washing your locks. You're focusing on washing your scalp the first few months. But this dude's dreads looking pretty dope. I like the rubber bands he's putting in there. Holding it down on a pretty unique style. And this kind of be in the beginning stages of his dreads right here. Lord's High even liked it. And secondly, the updo happening here as well. Updo looking fantastic at this moment in time. The pineapple top. So big ups, Balmain Junkie on those freeform locks. With the last guy here I wanted to show you is this guy here's freeform dreads. Going by the name of I Am Pretty Boise. And his freeform dreads, interesting because he's got the waves and the dreads at the same time. Talking about dreadication right there, because I know waves take a lot of dedication, dreadlocks take a lot of dreadication. And this guy's holding it down pretty well with the waves and the freeform dreads. He did bleach his freeform dreads. But checking out his Instagram page here. Um, you can kind of see how his hair looks on the side. Now his dreadlocks kind of just being on the top and back. More so on the back of his head than the top. And the sides where he's mainly got these uh, 360 waves going on. So it's, it's a pretty cool look and he's got a big taper going on the back of his head as well. Definitely a cool look. I like that he's rocking the visor with the dreads on top. I think that's a big look. Um, not enough people rocking the visors anymore. I know it's more of a 90s look, but with dreads it's actually the perfect thing. They're actually pretty perfect for dreads. And again here, hair down, rubber bands in there or no? There's some threading. Some wire, it looks like some jewelry, but basically what his hair looks like down. And the waves are kind of hidden at this point. They're kind of hidden. But regardless, big look. And I appreciate everybody for stopping by and sending in their videos here on Not Nation Instagram. I am rocking a hood. My dreads are tucked in the back. Now, I don't really like hoods and dreads, but this hood is fine because it kind of has a bigger neck piece. V-neck hoodies work well too with dreads, but these are the only type of hoods I can wear 
where they have a little bit more give down here at the at the v-neck part let me know what kind of what kind of sweaters you guys wear with your locks are you a fan of hoodies I tend to find that when you have big dreads, your hoods don't fit anymore. So I, I try to avoid buying hoodies these days, to be honest. But it's all about the crew necks, not nation crew necks available. Links in the description below. But I'm going to sign off. Thank you guys for watching this video once again. And definitely stay tuned, stay subscribed because this is the Neon Shine.